Remember when you used to think a shed was just an out-of-the-way place to keep old gardening tools? These days it's more likely to be an extra storage space for some of your valuable possessions. Bikes, expensive power tools and garden furniture are probably sitting in your shed right now. Your shed's first line of defence is its roof, so you need to make sure it's in good condition and doing its job. It's the first step in making your shed an asset to your garden. Unfortunately, being exposed to the elements all day, every day, means the felt on your shed roof won't last forever. You should check it regularly, and if it looks like this, or there are any leaks, replace it as soon as you can. New felt will keep your shed watertight and protect its contents, as well as prolonging the life of the entire shed. Rolls of standard bituminous roofing felt are available in a choice of either red or green and can be overlapped to create a simple waterproof roof. The felt is coated in mineral granules to give it texture and protect it from the sun. A special high performance version of shed felt is also available. This contains a tough polyester base providing extra strength, nail tear resistance and longer term protection. Refelting your shed roof is a straightforward job. You'll need good quality felt and a few basic tools including a hammer, tape measure, utility knife, preferably with a hook blade, and galvanised clout nails. If access onto your shed roof is required to carry out the waterproofing, ensure that it's strong enough to work off. Also, take care when you're cutting the roofing materials, and if using a straight blade, always ensure that you make cuts on a sound, even base to avoid damaging the materials beneath. Fitting roofing felt to your shed is simple. First, pick a dry, still day. For best results, the ambient air temperature should be above 5 degrees Celsius. Then, unroll the felt onto a clean, flat surface 30 minutes before you need it, so it has a chance to flatten out. It's best not to use your lawn for this, as some temporary yellowing of the grass may occur. Carefully remove timber fixing strips, as you may want to replace these once the new felt has been laid. Then remove the old roofing felt and check the surface of the roof. Hammer down any uneven boards and make sure any protruding nails are removed or hammered flat. Cut each strip of felt so that it overhangs the edge of the roof at either end by 50mm. Place the first strip of felt at the lowest part of the roof so that it overhangs the eaves by 50mm. Fix it in position by nailing the top edge of the felt with galvanised clout nails at 500mm centres. Now, slowly and carefully, fold the overhanging felt over the edges of the roof and nail at 75mm intervals. Fold and nail the corners to make it look neat. To cover the ridge, cut a capping strip of felt 300mm wide. For a nice straight finish, either use a chalk line or a suitable straight edge. Fix it to the ridge with high performance felt adhesive and fold down the felt 150mm on each side. Nail the lower edge at 50mm intervals. Finally, for a professional finish, fix timber strips to the gable ends. Whichever type of felt you choose, just a few hours' work will dramatically improve the look of your shed. You'll not only increase its lifespan, you'll protect everything inside it from the worst of the British weather.